is Pratiksha Kumar. I am the history faculty of Abhigyan Academy. So as you all know, recently on 21st April, NDA and CDS exams uh, were held. So yesterday on 9th May, the exam results were out. So we're very happy and proud to tell you all that from Assam, 44 students have qualified. And among them, 16 uh, have qualified in NDA exams and 20 have qual 28 has qualified in CDS exam. So as you all know that history syllabus is common, right, for all these exams. So whatever, like, you know, we have taught them in the class like uh, we have taught the students in class and whatever like you know notes we have provided to them many questions from the CDS exam has been common so from them we're going to discuss few questions today so that it will be helpful for you to understand what type of questions actually come in the exams right so like uh, let's start yeah so the first question is a match the following question okay so here like you know list one and list two is given and here system category is given and here description about the categories has been given so let's see the question first okay so here it's given match list one with list two and select the correct answer using the code given below in the list so list one system categories upari that sorry yeah upari patadar Mir uh, uh, Sidar and Imam Len. Okay, so here from this, like you know, some descriptions are been given. So here you can see here, like about Upari, about Imam. So in our class, we have discussed about this topic, and also we have given the notes. So it is very much like we are very happy to, like you know, tell you all that yes, this kind of questions are common in this exam. So like you know, this kind of questions only come which we have discussed in the class and which notes we have given in the class. So here you can see like options are given here descriptions are given here so upari is actually the uh, category of tenants tenure held under the maratha so here you know the kings or the rulers used to give some lands or uh, like you know for cultivation to the peasants so in this lands whatever cultivations they do whatever like you know profit they earn from the profit they used to give revenue to the kings right so for that only they were being given this particular land so here the option will be category of tenancy tenure held under the maratha so it was held under the maratha kingdom or maratha rulers at that time okay so next is patadar so patadar is co parentary title holders and designated revenue players in the south indian uh, south india southern india so in the south indian part this kind of like you know terms have been used as patadar okay then mir sedar so mir sedar is peasants directly responsible for the payment for revenue so at that time you know one zamindar or landholders used to be there who used to collect revenue from the peasants so according to this category you know uh, like the peasants are di the peasants directly they give revenue to the king they don't need any zamindars or like you know landholders to collect their revenue then last is the imam land that is gift of lands or land revenue so this according to this imam land you know gives like you know sometimes the rulers were given some gifts as the lands or lands revenue land revenue so this term is used as like you know imam land okay so here you can see as i have like you know uh, done the match the following so here option b will b will be correct so two uh, upari will be category of tenancy tenure held under maratha patadar will be number four then mir sedar will be number one and imam land will be number three so here option b will be correct right so now let's proceed to the next question so here it is a question of modern India, okay? So in modern India, here some events are given and we have to like, you know, correctly order the chronology of this events, right? So before that, as you can see here, non-cooperation movement, yes or no? So here, as you can see that the non-corporation women so we have talked in class about non-corporation women the phases of the non-corporation women and also about different movements we have discussed in the class and we have these notes and in those notes there is a question common so you can see that whatever we teach in the class most of the questions come common right so we look at what is the chronology so first we have the launch of non-corporation movement then second we have the all Indian Khilafat conference in Delhi and pass of raw alert act and Julian Balabag incident so, हम लोग अभी एक एक करके decide करते हैं and chronology decide करते हैं कौन सा event पहले हुआ था, okay? So first when Mahatma Gandhi came to India in 1915, so he visited all over like you know भारत में पूरा जगह वो घूमे थे, 
So after that, when he visited different places, he saw that the condition of the people are not good. So he have started, he started his movements actually, he started a term named Satyagraha. So he started some Satyagrahas in the beginning, that is first one is Samparan Satyagraha, second one is Kheda Satyagraha and third one is Ahmedabad Milk Strike. So ye satyagraha karne ke baad, like he, he won all the satyagraha, he have not used any violent activities, he have only done non-violent activities. So Britishers were quite worried because he is winning all over satyagrahas and all over the movements in that particular time. So they thought of passing a movement or a law, okay, that was the, or an act, that was the Rawlat Act. So according to that act, anybody will be arrested without any warrant, without any trial and you have to stay behind the bars for two years, okay? And like, you know, ye aisa law nahi hai, act nahi hai ki aap kuch karoge, fir aapko arrest karega, aise arrest karega, kuch bhi warrant ke bina. So it, it, it was a law of unjust or a, like, you know, very unequal act which was been imposed by the Britishers at that time. So this time, pe, like you know, Gandhi ji, he wanted to start a Rawlat Satyagraha. But you know, curfew was imposed in that particular time. So curfew means, when we had COVID hua tha, at the time of COVID, the villagers didn't knew about this, like COVID. They didn't know about, they knew, they didn't knew about the term of COVID, right? Like curfew, COVID and all. So this time, pe, bhi, like the, the people who stay in the countryside, they didn't know that, that the curfew was going on. So curfew or martial act was going on. So in Amritsar, in the time of Baisakhi, okay, people gathered in a bag, which was a Jallianwala bag. So in that bag, people came to celebrate Baisakhi and some people came to protest actually. So at that time, the commander of head was General Dyer. So when he saw that people were not, like, you know, when they were British, they were not listening to the British, what he ordered, he ordered his army to do open fire. And thousands and thousands of people are dead in that particular open fire in that incident which has been termed as Jalian Balabad incident. So, abhi ab log ko pata chal gaya ki ye incident pehle hua tha, uske baad ye Jalian Balabad ka incident third hua tha. Phir iske baad Gandhi ji was totally shattered. He wanted to do something. He, he thought that this small small satyagraha will not bring us independence. So, we need to do something broad based. So, uske liye usko Hindu and Muslim ko unite karna hoga. So, he did a strategy and he manipulated the Muslim people because at that time kya hua tha? World War One was going on and Axis and Allied power was there, right? So, the power who will lose the war will get punishment, right? They have to get punishment. So, to Axis power mein Ottoman Empire so Ottoman Empire ka jo head hai, Khalifa, he was the head of the Muslims all over the world. So he played with the mind of the people. He said that agar hum log saath mein, Hindus and Muslims unite hoke, Britishers ko defeat karenge, then we can save your Khalifa. Right? So they got manipulated and they started a movement. Okay, this was the third, this conference was the third event and they started a very broad base in the first big movement that was the launch of non-corporation movement. So they don't want to cooperate with all the things, they want to withdraw the corporation of the Britishers. So this is the port, like you know, uh, event that took place in that particular time. So you can see the chronology is given. So here, obviously number one, then number four aayega, and then number two and number one aayega. This is the correct order. First, the passing of the Rawlat Act, then Jalian Balabak incident, and third is the All India Khilafat Conference in Delhi, and fourth is the launch of the non-corporation movement. So, this chronology is correct. Hai. So, here you can see that there is a type of question aayega, and you have to solve karna hai questions. Ko, right? And here you can see that there is an easy technique. Hai. Aapko pata hai, agar ye do option pata hai, to aapko dekhne ki nahi, because here Four has been given and no, like no other, in no other option, char number diya hai or four number diya hai. So, aise bhi aap log question ko analyze karke solve kar sakte ho. And as, as aap log dekh sakte ye note mein se hi bahut sara chis common aya hai yaha pe. To hum log aise notes and like you know classes provide karte hai. So that it get helpful for you to understand it. And this type of question is, all, is only going to come in the exam, right? So, hum log hap next question dekhte hai. That is from Delhi Sultan in medieval phase, right? So at which of the following place was diamond mining carried out during the Delhi Sultan period? Option 1 is Avad, Option 2 is Kambat, C is Pana and D is Laknoti. So here also in here you can see we have provided these notes in our class and we also have like, you know, described different terms of this particular like kya abad mein kya famous hai, khambat mein kya famous hai, panma mein kya famous hai, lakhnauti mein kya famous hai, and which places, like which district 
और विच स्टेट दिस प्लेस बिलोंग दिस प्लेस इज बिलोंग टू सो हम लोग पूरा नोट्स देते हैं उसमें से ये क्वेश्चन कॉमन आया है सो द क्वेश्चन इज एट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्लेस वॉज डायमंड माइनिंग कैरिड आउट ड्यूरिंग दैनिक सुल्तान ऑप्शन आर अवत खम्बत पाना एंड लखनऊती सो यहाँ पे पाना इज द वन विच इज इन एम पी विच इज इन मध्य प्रदेश सो दिस इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन पाना इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन ओवर हियर एंड लाइक यू नो इट इज द एशियाज लार्जेस्ट एंड ऑनली एक्टिव साइट डायमंड माइनिंग साइट अवेलेबल टिल ना ओके सो पाना इज द वन विच इज इन एम पी सो ये करेक्ट ऑप्शन है डेली सुल्तान के टाइम पे भी डायमंड माइनिंग होता था तो पाना में ही होता था एंड अभी भी पाना में ही होता है सो ये क्वेश्चन हम आप लोगों के लिए लाए हैं बिकॉज हम लोग ये क्वेश्चन यूजली अपनी क्लासेस में डिस्कस करते हैं हम पी वाई के सेशन लेते हैं हम लेकिन डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टर्म्स को लेकिन बाइफेट करके उसको एनालाइज करके स्टूडेंट्स को पढ़ाते हैं सो हमारे क्लासेस में सब नोट्स वगैरह एंड वट एवर नोट्स वी गिव इट इज लाइक वी कैन सी सो मेनी क्वेश्चन ऑफ हिस्ट्री हैव कम कॉमन इन द एग्जाम राइट तो बहुत सारे क्वेश्चन कॉमन आए इसमें से आपको जस्ट दो तीन ही मैंने दिखाया है एनालाइज करने के लिए कि ये ऐसा टाइप का क्वेश्चन आता है और हम लोग की लेकिन अकेडमी में डेमो क्लासेस एवरी वीक होता है सो वे एवर इज इंटरेस्टेड प्लीज कम एंड डू द डेमो क्लासेस सो इट विल बी वेरी मच हेल्पफुल फॉर यू टू डू इट सो या थैंक यू